Sean Fappen from the First Coast School of Music. Today I'm explaining one of the most basic style of blues, often referred to as the boxcars or the Humpty Dumpty. Just Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty. So this style I use, uh, at, or was used often in a traditional style of blues. Also, for all my beginning blues students, this is the first one that I teach them. It's the most recognizable blues style. And then also, it allows you to create this pattern with your left hand and focus strictly, or not have to focus on your left hand. It allows you to free you up to be able to focus more on your right hand, your singing, your harmonica plan, whatever it is you have to do. Whereas, like the stride style, where you're having to constantly move your, move your hands around, the, this style allows you to stay in a stable position. So, the, what I'm doing is with my left hand, this is in the key of C, which is also one of the most uh, basic keys for a piano player. Is just C and G, fifths apart, playing those together, and then C and A. And just go back and forth, the fifth to the sixth. And just go back and forth. And then after four measures of that, then we'll move over to our F, do the same thing for two measures. Basically just count a four two times. Now back to our C. Then up to our G. One, two, three, four. For one time. One measure. Then F. One, two, three, four. Back to C. One, two, three, four. And then our G. With the right hand, in those days, a lot of times they would play riffs. Riffs or licks are one of the easiest ways to get started. So you can learn a simple pattern. It's nice for the listener. It allows the listener something to grab onto. And as a player, it's a great way to get started because you just play through the pattern and not have to create on the spot. For example, we can start off with simple triplets. What I'm doing there is just playing the G and the C and sliding into it, hitting that F sharp first. One and a two and a three and a four and a Then you can add in the seventh note of the B flat. Another very popular riff is to play your chord sliding in like a for a C chord but slide into that middle note and then raise it up to the F and back down okay so you got the start to vary that up, change the rhythm a little bit, add a little bounce to it. This is what eventually led to Boogie Boogie Woogie where you had the or the um, all those different styles that we'll get into later. So one last time here we go.